also. New piston compressor. This one's from ARP, it's 87 millimeter. Not like the other one that I bought before that's 88 millimeter, that's the wrong size. This one, right size. We're gonna install cylinder two piston, it's a CP piston, eagle rod. And I'm using uh, assembly lube from Amsoil. I use a lot of their oils and I've never had any issues with them, so I figured why not use their assembly lube as well. In the past, I've used ARP assembly lube and it's worked fine. But I was ordering oil anyways, so I figured why not. Um, I would read a number of people saying that these ARP style cylinder uh, ring compressors work really well and a lot better than the clamp style with the hose clamp that have been a pain in the butt in the past. So the trick is you have to get it lined up pretty well and you make sure that it sits down flush on top of the block and while you're installing the piston it doesn't lift at all and give a gap because if there's a gap your rings can shoot out through the sides and be a pain in the ass. I've got my cylinders marked uh, I and E because on these ones the valve reliefs are notched and they are different sizes for the intake and the exhaust sides. But um, once you drop it in the sleeve, these are actually tapered. So the further down it goes, the uh, you know it's going to compress and be the right size for the bore. Um, I've already had my rings filed to the correct specifications per the CP card. Um, and once you get the skirt of the piston lined up, you can pretty much put it in by hand, but some of us are lazy. So using the rubber end, a hammer, whatever, and I like to pull a little bit on the bottom just to make sure that they don't cock. Um, just little taps, fairly baby taps. That's it. Cylinders in. Bam. On to the next ones.